Ahora sí, tell me un poquito más. Hola, I'm Kim. And I'm Cindy Gaxiola. Y este es Tell Me Un Poquito Más Preguntas. Estamos continuando nuestra serie de preguntas que ustedes nos han hecho. We are continuing our series, a series of Tell Me Un Poquito Más Questions, questions that you guys have asked us. And the question that we received was, how do we normalize therapy in a Latin household? ¿Cómo podemos normalizar la terapia en un hogar latino? Uf. Que es buenísima para preguntar, la verdad, porque si eso de la terapia es como... It's still, I feel like therapy still has a bit of a stigma to it overall. Mm. I don't think that it's limited to Latin households. For sure. But of course we can speak to it because we're Latinas that grew up in a Latin household. <laughs> claro. Uh, la terapia creo que sigue siendo como una period up, up hill battle con el estigma que <laughs> mi Spanish con el estigma <laughs> que se tiene como que todavía no está muy bien no sé si es aceptado pero mm -hmm. pero todavía no está muy normalizado entonces este sí, no está limitado a un hogar latino pero nosotras obviamente podemos hablar sobre nuestra experiencia creciendo en un hogar latino y cómo se puede normalizar totalmente porque yo no sé por qué pero al o sea mencionar o al saber que la, ter la palabra terapia como que tiene una... What's wrong with you? Yeah. ¿Qué te hicieron? ¿Qué traumas tienes? Negative, ¿Qué? Um, uh, connotation? Sí. Well, therapy, unfortunately, I feel like it has a negative connotation. Like, it's very, what's wrong with you? Oh, oh, who hurt you? Or why are you going to therapy? Or why this? But honestly, I don't think it should be like that. I think each to their own. Maybe someone is doing it. There's different reasons why it could be because of healing. There's different ways. But a lot of the times, like, for instance, why I started going to therapy, I thank God there was nothing major in my life that imposed me to do it. I just felt like I wanted it. I just felt like I needed that extra push in my life. And I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. There was therapy. nothing, like, specific that you had to deal with or nothing ma i mean i guess i would say there was stuff that i wanted to improve in like my self-confidence um i feel like maybe i was a little more like fearful and stuff and like just doing it like just doing it just not but i would say i mean maybe as you see i don't know is that something big but i don't think it's like no i mean i think you're just talking about wanting to be better at certain things or wanting knowing to be better yeah knowing that you have certain things that maybe you could deal with in a better way that maybe you could be better so Exactly. That's so, right. le, lo que estoy mencionando es de que yo estoy yendo a terapia, llevo, estoy yendo como por ya dos años, y yo, yo, o sea, yo sentí que lo necesitaba. Yo era algo, yo quería mejorar como mi, como persona, mi um, autoestima, ser como, sentía como que tenía como, no sé, me daba un poco de miedo a las cosas, o so dije, yo, yo, sen, yo sentía que necesitaba como ese push, y para mí la terapia te da ese push, te da como ese, like, like refresher it's like you go deep you know ya que vas como de que ya te das cuenta como que de donde vienen todas esas cositas I just think we have to remember we are all human beings mm -hmm. none of us are perfect we have all dealt and with, with something at some point of our lives so we all need I, it doesn't hurt to seek professional help in this area of our of our lives todos somos seres humanos, nadie somos perfectos. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿por qué no acudir a un experto que nos puede ayudar? O sea, la vida es la vida y no, van a suceder cosas, pueden ser cosas que quizás sean, sí, traumas que uno experimenta, o quizás no son cosas que, que, que uno considera que son traumas en nuestras vidas, pero sí nos impactan. Entonces, es bueno tener como esa, yo lo veo como, como ayuda. I always look at therapy like, having a personal mm. trainer right like i could look at you kim you look good you look healthy you eat pretty you know you live a pretty healthy lifestyle but if you want to get that like super like tone boom, body like you look wanna, at me baby what are you gonna do you're gonna go to a professional that's going to get you there if you want to be in the best shape of your life mm -hmm. you need a professional that specializes in that so it's not any different with therapy it's the same thing yo veo la terapia como agarrar a un entrenador personal o sea yo yo sé que tú vives un estilo de vida bastante saludable, uh -huh. pero pero si tú quieres estar en la mejor shape de tu vida, tú vas a acudir a un profesional. Entonces claro. la terapia es, yo lo veo de la misma manera. No, totalmente. Y como esta pregunta que nos mandó esta chica dice, how do we normalize it in a Latin household? I don't know, maybe she's going, because I do think with parents it could be kind of like, 
like letting them know like oh you know i want to go to therapy i don't know like <laughs> latino gonna parents <laughs> are intense they're gonna be like que te hicieron por qué sí, que hiciste <laughs> que tú no has pasado por ningún trauma sí, porque sí like tal vez para esta persona es como incómodo dejarle saber a los sus papás que quiere ir a terapia y o sea, ¿cómo lo normaliza? Yo no sé. Yo siento que tal vez tus papás no van a estar de acuerdo contigo. Your parents are not going to be... Um, what's the word? Uh, acuerdo. ¿Cómo se dice? Okay. Like support or maybe... Mm, support. Or maybe they're just going to be like, oh, like, you know They're what? not going to understand it. They're not going to understand it. But I feel that if you feel the need to go to therapy, do it. Si tú sientes la necesidad... Ne si tú tienes la necesidad de ir a terapia, hazlo, yo les puedo decir por mi propia experiencia, he, ha sido la mejor decisión que yo he tomado en mi vida it has been the best decision that I have done in my life, maybe it's not gonna be easy with the parents, maybe it's gonna be I don't know, uncomfortable or I don't know, what it I mean no, I think it's just if you, it, it, I don't even think you have to feel the need to go to therapy, if you even have the curiosity. That's a good point. If you even have yeah. the curiosity or you feel like, you know what, I don't know, because sometimes therapy is not the obvious answer. Sometimes you may not know how to process something and you're like, what do I do? What do I? That's a good um, point. Maybe therapy could be an option and you may right. not feel like you have the need for it, but try it. Yeah. What do you lose? So like you said, uh, how do you normalize it? You just do it. And that's what you did. Kim started going to therapy before anyone in our household and she you were going for like maybe about a year yeah, and okay. i i saw like i saw that what it did what it did for her and i was like okay and then i went through and i i went through something and i felt like i needed to know how to process right what i what i went through and it wasn't anything crazy it, you know it's like it wasn't dating but i didn't know how to process that yeah. i knew i couldn't do it on my own so i was like well let me try therapy and i've loved it i've been going to therapy for like a year Um, Kim, ¿cómo se normaliza? Hazlo, tú hazlo. hazlo o sea, sí. Kim fue la primera en nuestro hogar que, que lo hizo y yo vi lo que, lo que le estaba, cómo le estaba impactando a ella. Entonces, cuando yo pasé por algo, eh, sí, de, de relaciones y eso, este, yo no sabía cómo procesarlo. Entonces, yo acudí a una terapista y la verdad que ha sido de las mejores decisiones mm -hmm. que he tomado porque yeah. me ayudó no nada más con eso específicamente. O sea, cuando ya pasé con, por ese proceso, me sigue ayudando. Yo sigo yendo a terapia. O sea, eso ya, gracias a Dios, lo sanamos, lo superamos, pero uno sí Siempre puede ser mejor como persona, nunca está de más como tener a alguien profesional que esté ahí de tu lado que te ayude en esas situaciones. 100%. Yo, como dices tú, cuando tú empezaste a ir a terapia, porque como dices, pasaste por una situación y lo necesitabas, o sea, al ver cómo estás ahorita, es, es crazy. Like, fue todo un healing process que obviamente tú pusiste mucho de tu parte, pero siento que la terapia te ayudó muchísimo. Cindy, when she first started going to therapy, it was after something that she had gone through. I, she's a completely different... It sounds like cheesy, but I <laughs> promise you guys, it was like a healing process. Obviously, it's like a lot of work, inner work that you have to do, but I do feel like therapy was a healing huge part for you and i remember i think it was my dad i don't know one of my parents are like dang cindy was it that bad like you gotta go to therapy <laughs> yes that, that was the reaction i feel like the first time i went to therapy i don't even know if i like if i told you guys did i like i think i like when i, I was first looking me, for a therapist yeah i think i may have told her because i was experiencing that and i didn't want my parents to think like dang it was that bad but like it doesn't have to be that way it was simply yeah. i knew i it. didn't know how to process yeah. it and I, i wanted to see if therapy could help me and yeah. it definitely it definitely did al principio creo que solo le dije a kim sí. no me acuerdo con, but i think so porque sí tenía miedo tenía miedo a la reacción que iban a tener mis papás sí. porque porque iban a decir bueno tan feo te, te impactó sí. y no es necesariamente eso simplemente era cuestión de que yo sabía que que lo tenía que procesar, yo sabía que yo tenía que sanar y sabía que no lo podía hacer sola. Entonces, Uf. esa ayuda que acudí, la verdad que me, o sea, me ayudó muchísimo. Y creo que otra cosa también para, con, para normalizar la terapia en, en un hogar latino es enfocarse en uno mismo y no tratar de implementar eso a los demás. O sea, uno puede tratar de, solo Uf. porque yo estoy yendo a terapia, o sea, nuestros papás, nadie es perfecto. O sea, mm. cada quien, nuestros mm -hmm, papás mm -hmm, tienen mm -hmm. lo suyo. Mm. O, obviamente tienen muchas maneras en las que pueden mejorar. Uf. Y uno puede sugerírselo, uno puede tratar de ayudarles, pero 
uno no puede, ah, porque yo estoy yendo a terapia, tú tienes que ir a terapia, o sea, no te hace mejor que esa persona. Lo puedes recomendar. Claro, y los puedes No sí. lo hagas como de que tú tienes que ir porque yo, no, lo puedes recomendar. Exacto. Pero sí, tiene un super punto ese. Another, another way I feel like that helps in normalizing, because I, I will say I'm guilty of this, I think because we know what therapy does for us we want it to do that for the people we love mm -hmm. so you're like hey you should do therapy you should you, like you you need therapy it's not it's not so much that. you I need think, it i think we all need therapy Honestly, so it's not yeah. necessarily about attacking someone else i think it's more so about just sharing and and saying hey you know suggesting like this is what therapy has done for me but don't try to force it yeah. onto other people because i think that takes away from normalizing it i think it, it goes against what you're mm -hmm. what you're doing and the work that you're doing that yeah i think listen i think latino parents are <laughs> there there is something else i go, ca, going kind of based on that i remember that you know again i'm, I'm still going to therapy and like sometimes like my dad will make comments like oh tú estás yendo a terapia tú no deberías reaccionar así <laughs> i'm like dude really <laughs> Like, he'll make comments like, oh, you're going to therapy. You shouldn't react like, like you're this. supposed to be this perfect yes. human being. Yes. I'm like, dude, like, it bugs, it bugs me. But again, <laughs> I'm working on it, guys. Like, it does bother me. Like, me molesta mucho. But I'm just like, look, like, I know it's a process. Like, you know, each to their own. Maybe, yeah, sometimes I don't react how I should. A veces tal vez no reacciono como debería. Estoy trabajando en mí misma, pero no dejes que como comentarios así, porque yo siento que es a parent thing. Like, I feel like other parents would say that. No dejes que te afecte. O sea, tú, si estás yendo a terapia, um, o sea, confía. Like, trust yourself that you're working on yourself, you're healing yourself, and, like, don't let other comments get to you. <laughs> and another thing, too, is look at it as an investment, because therapy is not necessarily that. cheap. Otra cosa que lo puedes ver como una in inversión, en, en ti mismo, porque la terapia no es algo que no. es muy, muy barato, pero, no. pero sí es algo que en realidad te puede transformar tu vida. Entonces, o sea, creo que nuestros papás nos pueden, no, no nada más nuestros papás, pero en un household latino mm. pueden decir, estás tirando tu dinero o oh, oh, para total. qué estás gastando tanto mm. dinero en terapia. Entonces, be mindful. Um, puedes encontrar terapistas que son más económicos que otros. Entonces, mm -hmm. haz tu research y todo, eh, pero velo como, un, como una inversión. En ti misma. Eh, en ti misma, exacto. Look, I, I think sometimes in a Latin household you could be told, oh, why are you spending so much money? Why are you throwing away your money in therapy? And just focus on looking at it because yeah it's not cheap focus on looking at therapy as an investment in yourself because it will help you when you find the right therapist yeah. that's the i feel like therapy is a is a further conversation a whole podcast oh episode. for sure for sure yeah because it's not like oh let me look no it's a process like it's to find th one mm -hmm. it was my mom actually helped me find my therapist she's a blessing i I, and I know that if it wouldn't have, it was not like, oh, you know, I found this one, boom, like, it's this one. No, it's a process. But again, I feel like that's a whole other episode. We just wanted to kind of, like, cover it here and there. But to wrap it up is how we, if you feel the need or if it's in your thought, if it's in your mind, if it's, I don't know, you're healing from a relationship, if you just feel. I would say if you, no, I would say everyone listening should do oh. therapy. <laughs> not if you feel. Not like, even if you're healing. No. Not even. If you are listening like to that. If you are listening to this episode and you are not going to therapy, this is your sign wow. that you should start therapy. I really think so. Like, I really, if, like, imagine what this world would be if we were yeah. all getting professional help. That is facts. So, yeah. That is, that is. And si again. Si es, también para que entiendan en español, si están viendo este episodio, este capítulo, este episodio, esta es su señal y no están yendo a terapia, esta es su señal de que tienen que ir a terapia. Go, go, no go. tienen que estar pasando por algo, no tienen que, no, simplemente creo que todos podemos beneficiar de ir a terapia. Uh, Así que esa es la señal, chicos y chicas. <risa> También háganlo, o sea, háganlo, no cuestionen, o sea, si, si les dicen algo, ustedes traten de explicar que lo están haciendo por ustedes y, y háganlo, no dejen que, que los demás les... les prevent uh -huh, de, de, previene, de, previene. de hacerlo bueno a veces muchas veces puede ser por por el dinero no, eso y a veces puede ser uno mismo como que está en tu mind como que you it's in your mind but you're scared it's, yeah. it's not it is uncomfortable like in the beginning you're opening it up doesn't to mean some... that there's something wrong with you that you no. have issues and, 
we all have issues. Yeah, we do. Honestly, yes. We like when issues. when you start going and you start talking to them, it's like you discover like p- stuff from your past that you're like, oh shoot, oh, wow, I never dealt with that. Wow. Yeah, or like I never realized that this because I went me. through this because I did this when I was younger because I went through that. I'm like this now. So I'm telling you guys. I, from personal experience, I love it. It is the best decision I've ever done. I'm pretty sure you could say the same thing. It's the best decision that you've ever done. Ya escucharon a la Cindy. Esa es su señal. Vaya la terapia. No, es que no, pero de veras. Como que invest a little bit in that. Pueden comenzar, ya sea una vez, un, una vez por mes, como sea, como se les haga más fácil. We, I highly, highly recommend it. Yes, life changing. Les va a cambiar la vida, se los prometo. Totalmente. <laughs> y bueno, este, de nuevo, este, esto concluye otro episodio de Tell Me Un Poquito Más. Un episodio, como otro. Sí, episodio. Otra, otra respuesta. <laughs> uh, de Tell Me Un Poquito Más preguntas. Uh, thank you guys so much for your questions. Thank you guys so much for your love, for your support. Again, if there are any questions that you guys have, you guys can leave them here in the comments or in our social media. Si tienen alguna otra um, pregunta, pregunta o tema de lo que, que sea, nos la pueden dejar saber aquí en los comentarios o en nuestras redes sociales. Um, and Hasta yeah. la próxima pregunta. Hasta la próxima pregunta. Bye.